how to use ASI Studio and ASI DeepStack. Uh, down here you can see I have got my light frames, my bias and my flats. And all you do is open up your studio software and go along to ASI DeepStack. And then all you do is you first of all click on your bias, select bias, which is in your desktop, load these into the software, and as you can see that puts that across, loads that part in. Um, then click on flat and then select flat as you can see that's selected flat anyway I usually do 0 0.01 of a second highlight all of those and then put those in there this time I didn't do darks on that particular night but obviously the next thing I do is my flats same process all along as you can see it's already selected that and if you look it was done on the 6th of the 9th 21 so you open that 240 seconds select that and open those the object is an open cluster NGC 7789 so once you've loaded your bias and your flats and your light you then click on start to stack and as you can see it's going through the motions now of alignment it normally takes about 20 or 30 seconds to load depending on the size of uh, how many frames you've got and obviously it takes, a, it takes a bit longer because you've also added your bias and your flats, not just lights. So as you can see, this is the, the image at the moment. Um, after you've done the stack, and there's your open cluster. The camera is a ASI 553 MC Pro, the colour version. Um, you can also click on noise reduction, that does help quite a lot. You can adjust these. Um, what I tend to do is, all I do is, once the stack has finished, it then automatically saves the stacked image in a fits file where you originally have your light frames uh, which is what I'll show you I'll just minimize that minimize that so if you go down to where your light frames are you now have this one here which is your auto save stack as you can see so it's all of these pictures all these images here um, and this one, if I double click, makes the entire stack. If you look at a single, obviously there's there's a lot more noise in that, and it's not quite as um, obvious the actual object. So there's a number of things you can do. Uh, like for instance, you can open this. And you can right click on the image, save as, and then you can save as a TIFF or JPEG or PNG. Um, and if I say, and then you can rename the file. NGC. 7789 and then save that save successful 
and there it is and there's your image uh, obviously you can do a lot more in Photoshop if you wish you can see there's a little bit of a misalignment around the edge ever so slight nothing too bad um, and then you've got something to work with there if you want if you wish or like you say save it as fits and open it in another software like Astro Art or or something similar if I quickly run that through Photoshop obviously you can tweak it as you wish I'll make that darker make a bit more contrast or whatever your preferences are you know, maybe you want to sharpen it a little just a tad if you want to crop the edge I'm not a big fan of cropping but if you want it to get rid of that edge you can then you could save again better there you can go NGC 7789 I've already got NGC 7789 uh, just to determine between the two different sorts occasionally I'll just put PS or paint shop so you can determine the two different sorts and I always max out especially as it's a JPEG and then you can have a little comparison between the two that's the one that was straight off the stack um, and that's the one I've just run through Photoshop like so uh, I hope that gives you a really basic understanding of how to use the ASI studio uh, and how to load your software